All right, let's go, baby. Lou is gonna help you. Jersey and I are at Birds Plus. We're gonna go get some advice from Lou for our Amazon. Learn how to take care of him better. I trust Lou more than I trust half of the bird people in this entire world. My Jersey shirt, which Jersey threw up on conveniently. Hello. Look, Jersey. Look at that. What do you think? Let's go look at this one. Look at that. Guys, this is a blue and gold and a military macaw. Little Picasso's missing photo. You guys are sweet. Buying all this stuff in the bird store. More bowls for the aviary. More stands. Some longer ones for inside there. I got a new house for the finch. Okay, so Lou said that I should come back with the Amazon. I'm gonna bring it in the cage so Lou can see not only the bird's droppings, but also I'm concerned about the bird being fed. And Lou is a professional with that. So I don't want to be too invasive and I know Lou won't be. And I know that he's outstanding at feeding baby birds. So if we need any kind of syringe situation, Lou basically said if there is any bleeding, the crop needs to be full. So I'm gonna go get him right now. And also I'm gonna bring some peanut butter back. I'm just kind of happy because like I had suggested peanut butter to George. So I feel like I'm really becoming good at emergency situations with birds. Let's see what happens. So the first thing is, Lou wants to see the droppings of the bird. I know it's dark. I'm gonna bring out the water. So I may need to put this down to carry the bird. <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. Lou is gonna help you. Okay, guys, I'm here. Oh, sometimes I don't know how to turn off my car. Oh, right, because I often forget to put it in park. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Lou says. Oh, oh boy. So we're back in here for the second time. Hey, where's the macaw that was there? Where's the Milligold macaw? How you doing? We were at the birdie rescue. This is a lot of stimulation for him. He's been in a dark, warm room for the past 48 hours. I've been going in there and taking care of him. He's also been perched on, there's like a day bed in there and I've just let him kind of be free, sometimes in this cage and sometimes free there for hours. If your bird has a concussion or even humans, if you have concussions, the remedy for what you're supposed to do is kind of nothing. So that's what we're trying to do with the bird. But I do think it's important that Lou sees him. So it's getting a lot of stimulation right now, but this is a bird that's pretty balanced and stuff. What's up, young lady? What's up? I got him here for when you're ready. What's going on here? He's a, possibly a wild Amazon. We're gonna find out. How do you do that? You chip him or something? No, Lou is an expert at the breeds and like the behavior, but he was hurt. I lost my parrot, right. this guy. So somebody called me that they found one because he hit their window. So Lou is now gonna feed him for me. Pretty docile, man. So he's either like a really wild bird that's acting like this because he's in shock or he's somebody else's bird. Well, it paid off for you to have a sign, right? Well, I'd rather have my bird. If this belongs to someone, I'm gonna find the owner. Yeah, that's an old bird, baby. How old is this bird? Wow, well, at least 10 years old. Look how bold the eyes are. Usually when they have the, the beak looking that way, when it's real narrow like that, yeah. they've been cleaning it off on um, on the trees. They rough it up and it gets real Yeah, because he like does that. have such a narrow and, beak yeah, and, and a long you head. See the black on there, that's just not the blood. These birds feed on pyracanthaberries a lot. 
And when those pyrocanthaberries are really in season, the red little layers of tomatoes, they gorge themselves on them. There's a wild bird. Or he's been out in the wild for a long time. And it, it is uh, odd to see him with a little yellow there and the hook of the lilac crown on him there. But I think we're, we're gonna try to give him a little hand feeding. You tried already giving him seed and he wouldn't eat? I didn't want to take any chances. Thing. And after he bled, so I stayed up all night in the room he was in. Oh my God. Did he think it's wild he's in? Yeah. But I just realized I had a dream four years ago that this exact thing happened. Back up. Let's see what he does. Just stay way back here. Oh, he's eating. Stop. I thought maybe I gave him the wrong bowl, maybe he didn't like my setup, but Lou said it's because he's back there with a bunch of Amazons. He's there right now with one, two, ooh, two Amazons that are in love. Three, four, five Amazons, so maybe he just feels better right now. See guys, Lou knows everything. And now Lou's gonna get him some water. On a different note, guys, I might rescue this bird. What do you say? You want to come home with me? Ah! Not today, but Lou says he might be better with me and I might be able to help him tame him and then rehome him to somebody from Parrot Station or somebody we know and get my Engage Not Cage show started. So that's an option. He my guy there. We'll see what happens with this bird. He needs to just recharge his battery and start His crop looks like fuller from here. Yeah, you can see that's what he needs, a little at a time, a little at a time. It's like those kids in the cave, man. You can't just give yeah. him all kinds of food. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I brought him here, because I was yeah. like, in case he needs baby. No, I think, I mean, if he wouldn't have eaten, I would have hand fed him. I would have given him a shot of food. What he just ate is probably enough to jumpstart his brain a little bit. Okay. I'm so proud of him for eating and everything. He is. So I'm gonna leave him here tonight because he has these other Amazons. He probably feels better. I'll come check on him tomorrow. Lou did good. Lou is currently feeding the babies with a needle. Do you guys want any baby Conyers? A lot of green cheeks in here. What are you guys doing? Is that your favorite one? They're all my favorites, my dear.